From Hollywood to Las Vegas, with Donald O'Connor and Irene Ryan next. She's granny of the Beverly Hillbillies, and Donald's making like Big Dan Blocker a bonanza for his latest nightclub act, which premiered at the Sahara. For these two, it's like old times clanning around together. Years and years ago, they were together in vaudeville. Of course, they were pretty young at the time, and both have come a long way from those early days. Still, it's a lot of fun to get together, compare shoes, if that's it, what they're doing right now, and reminisce about the past. And speaking of those days, we asked Donald and Irene to tell us what it was like. How far do you want to go back? <laughs> Well, I can go back, I think, further than Donald. I, I know his family goes back as far as I do. But uh, I'm going to tell Donald the last time I worked with the family and Donald was, I can't remember the year, but it was the year of the earthquake in Long Beach. Oh, for heaven's sake. You know, I forgot all about that. That, that was, was in 1933. Was that it? Yeah, we were working up on the, uh, on the main street there. The Strand. That's it. We had just gone out for a supper show. That's right. Do you know what I was doing at the time? Uh, we were over at the, um, the uh, Entre Cafeteria, <laughs> and I'd just gone up for a second plate of macaroni, and the thing hit. And I remember when we came in, Donnie was saying, Oh, you should have been here. Everything was shaken. He was a little feller then. Yeah, I was 27 at the time. <laughs> no, you weren't, Don. <laughs> <laughs> that was really something. Was that the last time we worked together? That was the last time we worked. Soon after that, Donald, I think you got a pretty good break in pictures and went on to pretty big things. Well, Patsy, uh, you know right. Patsy, she was, she was first because she took over uh, Shirley Temple's place. Right. And I started in 1938. Right, that's what I got. And I got my uh, break. When was the first time we worked together? Do you think you remember I can't when? remember that, Donald. I know the earthquake made an impression on me because you were so uh, excited about it. He, he wasn't scared. He just thought it was great that everything was shaken. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't talk for two weeks. <laughs> While we were talking about the past, we ask them to compare show business today as against yesterday. Well, there really isn't a comparison because there's no more vaudeville, per se. There's mostly, um, well, concert tours and um, one-nighters like Irene went on. And, of course, you have, well, I said nightclubs, didn't I? Nightclubs and concerts, that's about it now. It's changed considerably. And it's not as relaxing as it used to be. Granny Ryan has a great TV series, but what about Donald? Well, I'm, uh, one, one, well I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I made a pilot. It never, it, I did a very, a very good show. And um, as, I, as Irene said, the only people that liked it were the public. <laughs> Incidentally, I bet a lot of you weren't aware of what Irene did in vaudeville. Yes, she, she I... She did a strip. <laughs> no, Donald. I did an act with my husband at that time. And it was... Uh, the type of an act like Burns and Allen, Tim and Irene, we were, you know, the, the man and woman act, we used to call it. Guppy and Fog, we used to say. <laughs> Guppy and Fog. <laughs> Despite her tremendous success in the Beverly Hillbillies, still there's the question, will the part eventually hurt Irene Ryan as the actress, or has it helped? Well, I really don't give that much thought. I think as an actress, you should be able to play any kind of a part. I almost lost this part because they thought I was too young for Granny. When I convinced them that I did play Granny when I was 18 years old. Now let's catch part of Donald O'Connor's new act that's billed as Shakespeare Plays the Cafes. In it, there are a series of skits in which Donald plays Richard Burton portraying Hamlet, Fred Astaire as Richard III, Jackie Gleason as Henry VIII, and of course, in Richard III, there's the famous cry, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. But the way they do it with Donald's skit is a little different. This is the horse he got. But one of the high spots of the act is Donald's great routine where he is Sammy Davis Jr. playing Othello. Donald O'Connor, one of the really great entertainers of our time, scores another huge success with Shakespeare Plays the Cafes. 